The evolution of aerial warfare has led to an intriguing technological confrontation between offense and defense. The F-22 Raptor, America's premier air superiority fighter, and Russia's S-500 Promete, their most advanced air defense system. The F-22 Raptor, entering service in 2005, represents the pinnacle of American air power. With a maximum speed of Mach 2.25, operational ceiling of 65,000 feet, and combat radius of 529 nautical miles, it carries up to eight air-to-air -air missiles internally. Its radar cross-section is reportedly as small as 0.001 meters squared, equivalent to a marble. The S-500, operational since 2021, boasts a maximum engagement range of 600 kilometers for ballistic targets and 400 kilometers for aerodynamic targets. The system can track up to 10 hypersonic targets simultaneously, engaging six with a reaction time of three to four seconds. When we overlay their operational ranges, we see fascinating intersections. The F-22's combat radius creates a circular operational zone of approximately 1,000 kilometers diameter. The S-500's engagement envelope forms a dome reaching into near space with the ability to intercept targets at altitudes up to 200 kilometers. The F-22's development began in the 1980s during the Cold War, with first flight in 1997. The S-500 emerged from Russia's desire to counter NATO's air superiority, beginning development in the early 2000s. Both systems represent different philosophical approaches to air warfare. In theoretical engagement scenarios, the F-22's stealth capabilities face off against the S-500's advanced radar systems. The S-500 uses the 91N6AM acquisition radar and the 76T6 multi-mode engagement radar, while the F-22 relies on its ANAPG-77 AESA radar and sophisticated electronic warfare suite. Logistically, these systems couldn't be more different. The F-22 requires 43 maintenance hours per flight hour, with specialized climate-controlled hangars and stealth coding maintenance. The S-500, being mobile, needs minimal fixed infrastructure, but requires extensive crew training and regular system calibration. Currently, only the United States operates the F-22, with approximately 183 aircraft in service. The S-500 is exclusively operated by Russia, with initial deployments around Moscow and strategic locations. Future exports remain unlikely for both systems. The F-22's thrust vectoring and supermaneuverability allow it to operate in any weather conditions. The S-500's missile systems, including the 77N6 series, can intercept targets at speeds up to Mach 25. Within NATO, the F-22 integrates with E-3 AWACS and other allied systems. The S-500 forms part of Russia's integrated air defense network, working alongside S-400, S-300, and automated command systems. The S-500's radar systems can detect stealth aircraft at ranges classified but estimated around 150-200 kilometers. The F-22's radar can track up to 100 targets simultaneously, engaging eight with its current software. Each F-22 costs approximately $150 million with program costs reaching $66.7 billion, the S-500's exact cost remains classified, but estimates suggest $500 million per battery. Both systems continue evolving. The F-22's software upgrades enhance its capabilities against emerging threats, while the S-500 receives regular updates to counter new aerial technologies. In this perpetual contest between sword and shield, both systems represent the cutting edge of their respective roles. The F-22's stealth and air superiority capabilities counter the S-500's long-range interception abilities, creating a complex strategic balance in modern aerial warfare.
the S-500 Promete has captured global attention as Russia's most advanced air defense system, though much remains shrouded in mystery. Western defense analysts have carefully tracked its development, with publications from Jane's Defense to the National Interest offering detailed speculation about its capabilities. According to Russian state media, the S-500 can engage targets at extraordinary altitudes, up to 200 kilometers above Earth's surface. This places both hypersonic missiles and low-orbit satellites within its claimed reach. The Pentagon's own assessments, while more reserved, acknowledge the system represents a significant leap forward in air defense technology. Military observers point to the S-500's advanced radar systems as particularly noteworthy. Defense industry publications highlight its alleged ability to simultaneously track up to 10 hypersonic targets, though these claims remain unverified by Western sources. Photos released in military journals show a highly mobile system with multiple radar arrays and launch vehicles working in concert. The anti-satellite capabilities have drawn particular scrutiny. Aviation Week reports the system can potentially intercept targets moving at up to 7 kilometers per second, fast enough to engage satellites in low Earth orbit. This capability, if confirmed, would place the S-500 in a rare category of ground-based anti-satellite weapons. Comparing the S-500 to American systems presents interesting contrasts. While the U.S. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, system focuses primarily on ballistic missile defense, the S-500 appears designed as a more comprehensive air defense solution. The American GMD, ground-based mid-course defense system, with its network of interceptors in Alaska and California, remains focused on intercontinental ballistic missile threats. Defense analysts note that Russia's integrated approach, combining traditional air defense with anti-satellite capabilities, represents a different philosophical approach than the U.S. system of specialized solutions for different threats. The Russian system prioritizes mobility and multi-role capability, while U.S. systems tend toward fixed installations with more focused missions. However, Western military journals emphasize that actual performance data remains scarce. Published photos show impressive launch vehicles and radar arrays, but operational testing results remain classified. The system's true capabilities may not be known until it faces real-world challenges. As the S-500 enters service with Russian forces, defense watchers worldwide continue to analyze every new piece of information, photo, or technical detail that emerges. What's clear is that this system represents a new chapter in the ongoing evolution of air defense technology, one that increasingly extends beyond our atmosphere into the realm of space.